Well, this is pretty dang bonkers. What I'm going to explain to you in this segment not only further exposes the hypocrisy and dishonesty of Trump, but also Republican leaders more broadly. And it also causes their ridiculous allegations against Joe Biden to further crumble. So what am I talking about? Well, a report has been released by House Oversight Democrats that outlines the millions of dollars that Trump received through his businesses from foreign sources while he was president. We've known this for some time, but specifics are outlined in this document, and you really can't make this stuff up. So before jumping into some of the information about this, let me lay out a little bit of the context. As all of you know, House Republicans have been desperately attempting to portray President Joe Biden as corrupt. They've accused him of just about everything under the sun, but there's just one major problem. <laughs> they don't have any evidence uh many of them have gone as far as to say joe biden was bribed even though again that just isn't backed up by reality but the foundation that they're building all of these baseless allegations on is the fact that hunter biden son of joe biden did uh did business internationally so they can start with that then pretend like joe biden was involved in that uh, in some way, you know, involved in Hunter Biden's businesses, then pretend like he was being funneled money through those businesses while he was vice president to do certain things as vice president that other countries wanted. Again, unsubstantiated, not based on the evidence. Ridiculous. But this is where today's news comes in. If House Republicans actually care about presidents or vice presidents, people in power enriching themselves from foreign sources during their time in office, then boy, do I have a story for them, okay? And I can tell you it has nothing to do with Joe Biden. Instead, it's Donald J. Trump. The New York Times reports Donald J. Trump's businesses received at least $7.8 million. Uh, and this is just a small portion of likely the full amount because it's analyzing one set of documents um, from 20 foreign governments during his presidency, according to new documents released by House Democrats on Thursday that show how much he received from overseas transactions while he was in the White House, most of it from China. The transactions detailed in a 156 page report called White House for Sale that was produced by Democrats on the House Oversight Committee offer concrete evidence that the former president uh, engaged in the kind of conduct the House Republicans have labored so far unsuccessfully to prove that President Biden did as they work to build an impeachment case against him using documents produced through a court fight the report describes how foreign governments and their controlled entities including a top u.s adversary interacted with trump businesses while he was president they paid millions to the trump international hotel in washington dc trump international hotel in las vegas trump tower on fifth avenue in new york and trump world tower at 845 united nations plaza in new york so unlike house republicans in their witch hunt as Trump would say, against Joe Biden, House Democrats actually brought the receipts, evidence. And I'll show you up on screen some of the pages of the report they've released, and I'll link it in the description below if you'd like to look through it yourself. Democrats actually have evidence. Can you imagine substantiating your allegations? Now, of course, in a pretty clear-cut fashion, this should be a violation of the Foreign Emoluments Clause of the Constitution. I'll read it to you. Quote, no person holding any office of profit or trust under the United States shall without the consent of the Congress except of any present emolument, a payment would classify as emolument, office or title, if any kind, um, of any kind, I should say, whatever, from any king, prince, or foreign state. Seems to encompass Trump's actions. Then here's more from CNN. Then I have much more to discuss with you. Breaking news for you, a brand new report from Democrats on the House Oversight Committee. They say it shows China spent more than $5.5 million at Donald Trump's properties while he was in office. The new details stemming from a multi-year investigation into whether Donald Trump profited from his time in office, which is a no-no. Let's bring in Zachary Cohen. Zachary, the, the report just came down. Can you give us the details that you found and, and what stood out to you? Yeah, absolutely. So this report is based on documents from Trump's former accounting firm, and they show that um, his properties, the properties that he owns and did not divest before taking office, 
received payments in the millions of dollars from 20 different foreign countries. And the largest total amount of payments came from China, from both the Chinese government and state-owned Chinese companies. And that totaled uh, to over $5.5 million over the course of Trump's tenure as president. And, you know, this is raising the concern, right, that um, these payments were con an attempt to influence the Trump administration's foreign policy. And in fact, there's actually an article of the Constitution or a, a, a section of the Constitution that is specific about trying to prevent that from happening. Um, you know, Donald Trump sort of bucked the trend and uh, bucked norms of his predecessors by refusing to divest his properties and his financial assets and, you know, continue to profit and make money through his businesses while president. And look, um, the committee, House Democrats have been investigating Trump's foreign payments for about seven years now. And they've concluded and they pointed to a lot of different timing um, not coincidence, but draw, draw a link between the timing of some of these payments and certain foreign policy decisions that um, did seem to run counter to what even Republicans were urging Trump to do at the time. So let me get this straight. House Republicans have opened an impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden because Hunter Biden did business internationally and they have a vibe that Joe Biden is corrupt somehow, but they aren't going to be concerned with at all the money flowing directly from in large part china they're all frazzled about china and joe biden something china and other foreign countries directly to trump that's the modern republican party in a nutshell and this story is showing us exactly what we've been talking about for some time the reason they're trying to fabricate these allegations against joe biden is because they know how corrupt trump is and want to do the best that they can to level the playing field. They can't take away Trump's impeachments or take away his indictments, but they can try to make Biden look corrupt. Again, trying to balance that scale a little bit. They can't make it not the case that Trump allowed foreign governments to funnel money to him, but they can pretend like uh, that happened to Biden. Now, I remind you of these two facts as well. And while I do, remember, Republicans pretend to care about Hunter Biden doing business internationally when he had no involvement with Joe Biden in his role as vice president or as president. But then Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner were both in the Trump administration. And you have this, the New York Times report, six months after leaving the White House, Jared Kushner secured a $2 billion investment from a fund led by the Saudi crown prince, a close ally during the Trump administration, despite objections from the fund's advisors about the merits of the deal. So cashing in on that relationship that Kushner made in his official role within the Trump White House. Then here from Forbes, the Chinese government granted a total of 41 trademarks to companies linked to Ivanka Trump by April of 2019. And the trademark she applied for after her father became president got approved about 40% faster than those she requested before Donald Trump's victory in the 2016 election. So Trump's children, who were actually in the administration, were seeing those sorts of business upsides. And Republicans don't care one single bit but they'll show Hunter Biden's news on live TV to get justice for Joe Biden's wrongdoing, Marjorie Green. Now, earlier I said the $7.8 million that's outlined in the oversight report is just a piece of the broader picture. Open Secrets estimates this. Trump made more than $200 million from foreign business interests since 2016 is what they reported on. So, you get the point. If we're going to be concerned about presidents or vice presidents enriching themselves from foreign sources while they're in office, it would be wise, I'd say, to start with the guy who blatantly did so and there's actually evidence to prove it. And since House Republicans have now been investigating Joe Biden for who knows how long and have uncovered absolutely nothing, I think it's time that we can pretty confidently say maybe the reason is because he's just not corrupt. Maybe that's the reason why they've been so unsuccessful in their investigation after investigation into Joe Biden. So they've done a good job of clearing Joe Biden. Now it's time to have a serious conversation about Donald Trump. Now I have a couple of things I want to play for you while we're on this subject. House Republicans hypocrisy is not just about Trump. It's also about James Comer and others. You might remember that House Republicans made a big fuss about a loan that Joe Biden gave to his brother and then his brother paid him back. And they were trying to act like Biden getting paid back for the loan was him being funneled money 
made no sense. But then right after that, it got revealed that James Comer had <laughs> given a similar loan to his brother. And he was pretending like that was some sort of corruption with Biden, but then he was doing it. And then that led to more questionable information about James Comer's business interest uh, being revealed. And he was confronted about that during a hearing by Jared Moskowitz. Here's how that went. But you and Goldman, who is Mr. Trust Fund, continue to try Recla to... Reclaiming my time. No, I'm Re not going to give you your time back. We can stop the clock. Re you all continue to... You look like a smurf here just going around and all this stuff. Now, listen. M Mr. Chairman, you no, have... No, I'm going to tell you no, no, something. Hold, hold on. If we're, you if continue we're not on time, to spew we just, disinformation. You, you, you have you gone on TV and you said the president did something you illegal. You're doing stuff with your brother. The American people have the same questions. Why should they believe you? Why you should they believe you? Why should they believe you? you? There's, there's a different rule for the president. There's a different rule for you. Why should they believe what you're saying, Mr. Chairman? Why? You go on Fox News and say loans you and deals are a way to evade taxes. We don't know that's what you're doing or not. We don't know. We have no idea. We're supposed to take your word for it. But when the president well, says something, you've already been proven a liar, Mr. Moskowitz. What's that? You've already been proven a liar. Today. Who's proven me a liar? You? Yes. Your word means well, nothing, Mr. Chairman. Go to my hometown. There's a camera crew there today, an opposition research crew there today. Mr. To Chairman, this seems to have gotten under welcome. your this seems to have gotten under your skin. I'll pay I mean, for your I, ticket. I, I, I think the American people have lots of questions, Mr. Chairman, and perhaps you should sit maybe for a deposition. I would. We can I will be questions. happy. So strange. And just for fun, here were a couple other great Jared Moskowitz moments from that one impeachment inquiry hearing that went so bad for Republicans they decided not to hold anymore. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think it's your lucky day. <laughs> what a day we are having yeah. here, isn't it? Right. I mean, listen, I, as a former director of emergency management, I know a disaster when I see one. I mean, by the way, you don't, don't, you don't believe me, just, just ask Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon, that, your guy, just went on and said, you know, perhaps... Whose guy is Steve Bannon? Yeah, well, you, you know who Steve Bannon is. Uh, perhaps, Steve Bannon just went on and said, perhaps the Republicans shouldn't have started with a witness, that he was talking about Professor Turley, who was going to say right off the bat that there wasn't an impeachable offense. He's, he, I quote, he says, perhaps we should have put him on the maybe list for one of our witnesses. But this is what this is about. Let me show you. It's a simple board, right? So all other presidents in the United States, 50% of the impeachments. Donald Trump, the other 50. Donald Trump has half of the impeachments in American history. But you know what? He's got 100% of the indictments. 100% of all indictments. Zero for the other presidents. Listen, I, let me do it another way. I want to channel my inner Tim Russert. So let me go to the board, right? And I don't have Florida, Florida. But Donald Trump, impeachments. Oh, how many impeachments? We got two there. How many indictments? We got four. How many for Biden? Zero, zero. Donald Trump is right. I'm, he's sick of winning. He's just winning, running away with it. And that's why we're here. We're here because of math. That's what this is about. They can't save Donald Trump. They can't take away the two impeachments and the four indictments. But they can try to put some numbers on the board for Joe Biden. But the problem is when you sling mud, you got to have mud. And they just don't have anything, Mr. Chairman. So that's it. They'll ignore the corruption of Donald Trump, but then fabricate allegations of corruption against Joe Biden. It's shocking. It's enraging, horrifying even. And ladies and gentlemen, that's American politics. Before we go, don't forget to become a member at LukeBeasleyShow.com slash membership to get the daily bonus show Monday through Friday. Plus, follow me on threads at Luke Beasley Official Instagram at Luke Beasley Official X at Luke P. Beasley. Sign up for the Beasley Brief, a daily morning newsletter that summarizes the previous days events by going to LukeBeasleyShow.com slash brief. And I'll talk to you all next time.